が死ぬ思いで戦ったんだ団長の俺が気張らねえわけにはいかねえだろう Welcome to Anime Browser, and for this top 10 list, we're looking at main characters who unleash their powers to save, protect, and keep their lovers, friends, and families safe from any harm. Aww, how honorable! Let's start our countdown. <laughs> Number 10. Hakyuki. Shizuru Yukimura is a young woman searching for her missing father, Kodo, who is a doctor, and due to his work, he is usually far away from home. Later, Shizuru didn't hear anything about him in months, so she decides to disguise herself as a man and goes to Kyoto to look for her father. But a turn of events will turn Shizuru's life upside down. As soon as she witnesses a horrifying scene of the Ronin being brutally murdered by crazed white haired men, a group of men arrive to the scene of the crime and tie her up and take her back to their headquarters. Now she's unsure whether she will survive or they will silence her permanently. However, once the Shinsengumi Shins knows the name of her father, they decide to keep her safe as they too have been searching for him. Hence, her father is more connected to the Shinsengumi than they let on, and soon Shizuru finds herself embroiled in a conflict between the Shinsengumi and their enemies, as well as political tension in Kyoto. Number 9. Densetsu no Yusha no Densetsu, also known as The Legend of the Legendary Heroes. The Legend of the Legendary Heroes follows the story of Reiner Lute, who is a lazy student of the Roland Empire Royal Magicians Academy. One day, the Royal Roland Empire goes to war against their neighboring country, Estabul, and Reiner loses his classmates in the war. After the war, Reiner sets out on a journey to search for the relics of a legendary hero at the King Sion Astal's command, and finds out that a deadly curse is spreading throughout the continent. Number 8. High School DXD. The story follows the student Essie Hyodo, who is a pervert, and he does nothing productive with his life, peeping on women and dreaming of having his own harem one day. Things, to be, things seem to be looking up for Essie when the pretty Rias asks him out on a date. Although she turns out to be a fallen angel who brutally kills him. However, he gets a second chance at life when Rias Gremory, who is a top class devil, revives him as her servant. Now, now Essie must train and fight in order to su survive in this violent world of angels and devils. Any given adventure leads to many hilarious and epic moments with his new comrades, all the while keeping his new life a secret from his friends and family in high school DXD. Number 7. Strike the Blood Kojo Akatsuki is an ordinary high school student. During a fateful encounter, Kojo is left with the remarkable abilities of a vampire. It isn't long before he is thrust into the center of attention when it's discovered that he is the fourth primogenitor. Fearing Kojo's disruptive potential, the Lion King organization sends in an apprentice sword shaman, Yukina Himuragi, who must monitor and should he become a threat, must kill the boy deemed to the world as the most powerful vampire. 
The anime highlights the two characters, who form an unlikely alliance as the main character Kojo comes to terms with his abilities and is ready to unleash his power to save his lover while they struggle to keep the city safe from various emerging chaotic forces. Number 6. Ichiba Nushiru no Daiyo, also known as Demon King Dai Mao. The story focuses on Akutu Sai, who transfers to Constant Magic Academy, where he bef befriends a virtuous ninja clan member, Junko Hattori. On the way to the academy, they, they vow to make the world a better place together. However, the situation suddenly takes a turn for the worst upon his arrival. It is prophesized that he will become the Demon King. As word of his destiny spreads, the school begins to fear him and Junko's trust in him falters. While Akuto is determined to not let his predicted f future control his fate, it seems as though everything he says and does only serve to reinforce the fact that he's destined to become the Demon King. Moreover, he's surrounded by a harem of beautiful girls who each have their own plans for him, ranging from bringing him to justice to simply showering him with love. While his newly awakened powers, with his newly awakened powers, Akuto must cope with the fact that he is constantly has a growing list of misfortune and the fight to prove that his fate is not set in stone. <laughs> Number 5. Owari no Serafu, also known as Seraph of the End. After a mysterious virus wipes out 90% of humanity, vampires emerge from underground to enslave mankind. Enter Yakia Yuchiru, a young boy who, along with the rest of the children from his orphanage, are treated as livestock by the vampires. Even in captivity, Yuchiru dreams big. He dreams of killing vampires. He dreams of killing all of the vampires. Hence, this anime follows the main character, Yuchiru, who is often ready to unleash his power to save his lover, friends, and the ones who are really close to him. Number 4. Noragami. Noragami is one of my faves, and it revolves around Yato Gami, who's the main character. Gami means god in Japanese, and Yato is a minor deity and self proclaimed delivery god who dreams of having millions of worshippers. Without a single shrine dedicated to his name, however, his goals are far from being realized. He spends his days doing odd jobs for five yen apiece until his weapon partner becomes fed up with her useless master and deserts him. Just as things seem to be looking grim for the god, his, his fortune changes when a middle school girl, Hiyori, supposedly saves Yato from a car accident, taking the hit for him. Remarkably, she survives, but the event has caused her soul to become loose and hence able to leave her body. Hiyori demands that Yato get her back to normal, but upon learning that he needs a new partner to do so, she reluctantly agrees to help him find one. And with Hiyori's help, Yato's luck may finally be turning around. Yato is a force to be reckoned with, and his rend ritual is amazing. I cleanse the rend! You'll know what I'm talking about when you watch the anime. And you gotta love those blue eyes. Number 3. Roroni Kenshin Welcome to the Meiji era. 
Japan is a land experiencing times of troubled peace and renewal after a long and bloody civil war. Swords and killing are outlawed, but all is not well as it would seem. Lurking in the shadows are many survivors of the revolution awaiting their chance for vengeance. Only the former government assassin, Kenshin Himura, can keep the peace. Kenshin gives up the life of Batosai the Manslayer and sets off as a lone wanderer. His travels lead to the Kamiya Dojo where he discovers the chance to start life all over. Number two, Hataraku Mao Sama, also known as The Devil is a Part Timer. The Devil is a Part Timer is a great anime where the main character is a demon lord coming from another dimension to live on Earth as a human while trying to keep his real identity and power hidden. Foiled by a hero, Emilia, when he's inched away from conquering the world, the devil finds himself in modern day Tokyo. With no real world skills to speak of, the devil is forced to make ends meet by flipping burgers at a fast food joint called McDonald's. Now, don't confuse that with McDonald's, and you'll know what I'm talking about. To stall any further plans of world domination, the, heroes tra the hero tracks the devil's trail and takes on the lowly tasks of a telemarketer. The Devil is a Part-Timer presents a hilarious view of the most mundane aspects of everyday life all through the eyes of the Demon Lord. <laughs> Number 1. Zero no Tsukiu Mi, also known as the familiar of Zero. Louise Francois Leblanc de la Valliere is a mage in a world of wands, cloaks, and royalty. Although she studies at Tristan Academy, a prestigious school for magicians, she has a major problem. Louise is unable to cast magic properly, earning her the nickname of Louise the Zero from her classmates. When the first year students start performing a summoning ritual, Louise's summoning results in a catastrophic explosion. Everyone deems this to be yet another failure, but when the smoke clears, Saito Hiraga appears. Now Louise treats her familiar Saito as a slave, forcing him to clean her clothes and eat off the ground. But when Saito's hand starts to itch from the summoning ritual, rumor has it to be the mark of a powerful familiar named Gandalfur. Wild, adventurous, and explosive. The Familiar of Zero is an amazing harem anime with an overpowered main character who is always ready to unleash his power to save his lover. We hope you've enjoyed this top 10 list. Now, which of these main character superpowers are your favorite? Comment below and share. And for more top 10 picks, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.